Hey guys, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about 10 different Greek roots that have a lot to do with many different English vocabulary words, some of which we're going to talk about today. Okay, so as I go over these 10 Greek roots, I'll give you a couple of English vocabulary words that are related to these Greek roots or that have them. Okay, so then we'll have probably around 20, hopefully new vocabulary words for you to learn along today as well, okay? So get out a pen and paper and get ready to write. Our first Greek root is cosmos. Cosmos in Greek means world or order, okay? So you can see this root in the English words cosmos, which is also an English word, which means the universe, but more of a har harmonious, <laughs> I can't talk, more of a harmonious kind of universe according to the Greek gods, okay? You can also see the word cosmos or the root cosmos present in the word cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan basically means someone who is comfortable around different languages and cultures and who is very accustomed or used to those types of things, okay? Our second Greek root today is derma. Derma means skin in Greek. So maybe you've heard of the word dermatology or dermatologist, okay? A dermatologist is a doctor who is certified to practice dermatology. So dermatology is the study of the skin and its disorders. Okay, so if you have a problem with your skin, maybe you have a little red rash or something that you want to check, then you would want to go and see a dermatologist because a dermatologist is a doctor who studies the skin. Our third Greek root of the day for this lesson is cyclos. Cyclos means a circle or a wheel in Greek, okay? So you can see this in the English words cyclone, okay? So a cyclone is basically a windstorm, a very, very powerful windstorm whose winds are rotating in a specific direction, similar to that of a hurricane or something along those lines, okay? And then you can also see it present in the word cycle. And a cycle, if you think about different events that happen consecutively, but they continue to happen over and over and over again. Okay, that is a cycle. So think of a circle. It just doesn't end. Our fourth Greek root is biblos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right. I don't speak Greek, obviously, but I am just going with what it looks like to me. Biblos in Greek means book. Okay, so you may be familiar with the word Bible, which is the book or the scripture of the Christian religion. Okay, the Bible. Okay, similar to the Quran in Islam. All right, so then it may not surprise you to know that biblical will mean anything that is related to the Bible or anything related to biblical times. Okay, so Biblos, Bible, and biblical. Our fifth Greek root of the day is chronos. So chronos means time in Greek. So if you think about the word chronological, chronological means, for example, a set of events that happen starting with the oldest event first and then going in order that the events actually happened. Okay, so for example, if something happened to you one year ago, and then something else happened six months ago, and then something else happened three months ago. So if you were to talk about these events in chronological order, then you would be talking about the event that happened to you one year ago first, then what happened to you six months ago, and then finally what happened to you three months ago. That is chronological order. All right, so then the next word, the second vocabulary word for chronos that has to do with chronos is chronic. And so chronic, usually we are using it more when we're talking about an illness, okay, when we're sick with something. 
And we talk about it when we're trying to say something that is constantly recurring. Okay, so maybe I have chronic headaches, which means every single day I just have a headache and I don't know why. Okay, hopefully that's not you and that's certainly not me, but just to give you an example. Number six for our Greek roots today is ethnos. Ethnos means nation or race. Okay, so a couple of examples of English words that have to do with ethnos. Ethnos are ethnicity is one of them. Okay, so ethnicity means the state or belonging to a specific group or subgroup of people that are related to a specific nation or a country or race. Okay, so that's ethnicity. And so then similarly, ethnic is the adjective form of this word, and that just means that it's something that's related to a specific nation or race or a subgroup of people in a larger population. Okay, so ethnicity and ethnic. Number seven of our Greek roots today is grandma. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Grandma, it kind of sounds like grandma, like your mother's mother or your father's mother. Grandma, but it's spelled differently. It's spelled G-R-A-M-M-A. So grandma, as I believe you, that you pronounce it, means writing in Greek. Okay, so you can obviously think of this word most frequently in a word that you are probably very familiar with by now, which is grammar. Grammar basically means the structure of a language specifically related to the syntax of it, okay? I'm not going to get into grammar. I think you all probably know what grammar means by now. All right, the next word that is related to grammar could be something like grammatical, okay? Or grammatically, if something is grammatically correct. Or if something is grammatical, then it is related to grammar. Our eighth Greek root for today's lesson is logos. So logos means words in Greek. And you can probably imagine that dialogue would have to do with words since a dialogue is conversation between two or more people, maybe three, four, or five. Okay, so dialogue, logos, dialogue, the L-O-G is in the middle of the word, okay? It doesn't always have to be at the beginning, but as long as it's somewhere in that word, it can still be considered a root of the word, okay? So the next word is logical. In the word logical, we also have the root L-O-G, meaning going back to our Greek root for words, and logical means something that is related to logic. And logic is related to reasoning or an argument. And in order to be able to reason or to argue about something, you have to use words. Okay, so that's logos. Logos, dialogue, logic, or logical. The next Greek root that we're going to talk about, number nine, is homos. So homos in Greek means the same. And you can see this in the English words homogeneous, which means something that is alike or very, very similar, like a homogeneous group of people is a group of very similar people. And you can also see this in the word homonym. A homonym is a word, well actually technically it's a word that has another word with the exact same spelling, okay, the same spelling, but there are two different definitions. An example of a homonym would be address and address, okay? To address someone is a verb, meaning to direct a comment to somebody, whereas address is where you live. That's an example of a homonym. Okay, so homos, and then we have homogeneous and homonym. And then finally, our last Greek root for today is psyche. Now, psyche in Greek means breath or soul, similar to the English word psyche, which means the human mind, soul, and or spirit. Okay, so psyche is one, and then another one is psychic. 
psychic is, we usually use this word when we're talking about the ability to read someone else's mind, to know what they're thinking, or also some sort of phenomenon that is related to being able to read people's minds or make predictions about something that just is not really natural according to the laws of nature. Okay, so we have psyche, which is the Greek root, and then we have psyche, the English word, and psychic. Okay, you guys, so those are the 10 Greek roots that we have talked about today. And I'm actually going to leave you a little quiz at the end of this video discussing the vocabulary words. It's a fill in the blank quiz. You can leave your answers below and see which answers you think go where. Okay, if this is your first time to my channel or you haven't already done so, then please hit the subscribe button. If you hit the bell, then that will actually notify you when a new video is being made. So make sure you check out a couple of my other videos. They're over here or over here somewhere. You can also like my page on Facebook, which is in the link below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.